Hey everyone, welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called haloperidol, and haloperidol is most commonly referred to by its brand name, which is Haldol. It falls under the class of tranquilizers and antipsychotics. The mechanism of action, or how it works in the body, is that it inhibits the central nervous system catecholamine receptors and depresses the midbrain, subcortical areas, and ascending reticular activating system in the brain. Your indications are going to be patients experiencing acute psychotic episodes. As always, before we get into dosages, please abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. The dose is going to be 2 to 5 milligrams intramuscular every 30 to 60 minutes until sedation is achieved. Pediatric dose, it's just not recommended in the EMS setting. Your contraindications are going to be hypersensitivity, Parkinson's disease, depressed mental status, and agitation due to shock or hypoxia. Adverse reactions of, of Haldol can include seizures, dystonic reactions, confusion, restlessness, central nervous system depression, sudden cardiac arrest, nausea, vomiting, and your drug interactions is that it can interact with narcotics, benzos, sedatives, hypnotics, and alcohol by increasing the central nervous system depression, and it antagonizes amphetamines and epinephrine. You will typically see it supplied in 5 milligrams in 1 milliliter or 10 milligrams in 2 milliliters. A few side notes about Haldol. So Haldol is only to be given intramuscularly in the 911 EMS setting. It is not intended for IV use. Onset is typically around 10 minutes and your peak effect is between 30 to 45 minutes. After administering it, you may see profound hypertension. So treat this with fluids and norepi if necessary, but don't treat it with epinephrine. Your pregnancy safety is going to be a category C and be aware of the possible dystonic reaction and always have Benadryl available. As always, remember to abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of local protocol, medical direction, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!